So you want a wild west landscape with juniper and prickly pear cactus. A place to take your instant gram photographs and tic tacs. Well, Kimasabi, you might just think about sauntering on down to Colorado National Monument. Subscribe to American Explorer. Located just outside Grand Junction on Colorado's far western side, Colorado National Monument is a natural spectacle on par with any the West has to offer. Sheer walled cliffs, towering monoliths, and the twisting turns of Rimrock Drive are the highlights of this preserve. The rocks at the foundation of Colorado National Monument date back to nearly 1.7 billion years. Throw in some volcanic activity, some seas, three separate periods of mountain building, and a whole lot of wind and water erosion, and voila, the landscape of the monument. The status of this region as a protected national monument can really be attributed to one man, John Otto. He was the first recorded explorer of the area. Before he arrived, many locals believed the canyons to be inaccessible. Word spread of his work, and people pushed for the area to be named a national park. A slowdown in Congress threatened the process, which led to President William Howard Taft stepping in and using the Antiquities Act and a presidential proclamation to declare the canyons as a national monument. The area was established as Colorado National Monument on May 24, 1911. Otto was hired as the first park ranger, drawing a salary of $1 a month. For the next 16 years, he continued building and maintaining trails while living in a tent in the park. Through the years, the push has continued to upgrade the monument's status to a full-blown national park, but as of the making of this video, that has yet to come to fruition. The monument offers a variety of hiking trails for all abilities. It draws road cyclists who train on the beautiful hills and twists, and the sheer cliff walls is a big attraction for rock climbers. One of the best ways to see the park is the scenic but harrowing Rimrock Drive. The 23-mile road has been called one of the most scenic drives in the American West. The route the road would follow was established in 1931, and construction began shortly after using almost entirely manual labor. Extensive blasting and drilling was required, and there are three tunnels along the route that had to be bored. From 1942 to 1948, work on the road was suspended due to World War II, but was finally finished in 1950. If you're ever in the Grand Junction area, Colorado National Monument has to be top of your list. Well, it's all for this one. Not sure why you're still watching. I reckon you ought to get on out there and explore for yourself. Sayonara. Subscribe to American Explorer. Echo. 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 Echo.